So he said to me when he started the church and he was primarily home for the first couple months and was starting it. And he said, you're the pastor. I said, I'm not the pastor. You just want me to be the pastor, you know, so you can keep traveling and then also have a church. And I, and I, you know, God did not say to me that I was the pastor, but then I didn't ask him, Tony. I didn't ask him Mm -hmm. because I assumed I knew. And I've learned this. Why do people not ask God? They think they know. Boy, that's dangerous. Wow. That is so dangerous. Even when you think you know, you better ask. Yes. And I did not ask. And Ed would say to me, he'd say, you're the pastor. I said, I'm not the pastor, but I will fill in for you until you get a pastor here. That's what I said to him. I'll help you because God told me, help your husband. Whatever he's doing, I'm helping him do. And so I said, I will preach. And then he would come home and I'd say, have you found a pastor yet? You know, have you found a pastor? And so I would do it. I would, you know, I would open the service. I would do the music, lead the music. I would make the announcements, receive the offering, pass the offering bucket, preach the sermon, greet the people on the way out. I did it all. And I did that for four years, Tony. (laughs) waiting for my husband to get a pastor in. And I never asked God, am I the pastor? The thing is, I didn't want a pastor. Plus, I thought I knew because travel was what I had in me. Wow. But that was for, and, and I did travel the time while I pastored, but minimally. But what I was sensing in me was where I would eventually end up. Wow. And I thought that where I would end up was where I was supposed to start out. Mm-hmm. And so that's why I didn't ask mm-hmm about pastoring because I didn't think that was part of the plan. So one day we were having a conference here in California in our church and a a minister got up to preach. I never heard a word he said. I did not hear that sermon because I got caught up in the spirit. Mm -hmm. And um, Jesus, I heard Jesus say, do you love me? Now I should have paid attention. That's a scripture, right? Right. He asked Peter the same thing. (laughs) Do you love me? And I said, you know, I love you. And he said, then feed my sheep, pastor. And you could have, Tony, no one was more (laughs) shocked than me when he called me pastor. And so he said, Sunday, you get up and announce to the congregation you're the pastor. And I thought, they are going to be so shocked. They're going to be so surprised. So I got up that next (laughs) Sunday and I said to the people, I have an announcement to make. So I said, I'm the pastor of this church. And they're kind of looking around like... (laughs) Are you going to announce something, you know? (laughs) But see, it was a big announcement to me, but not to them because they knew it. Now, why did God have me to get up and announce it? Because my insides had to agree. I was doing the outward function, but my insides weren't agreeing. People can get in trouble with God when it looks, when they are fulfilling outwardly something, but they're not inwardly agreeing. Is that possible? I did it for four years. Mm -hmm. I did outwardly the role and fulfilled every aspect of the pastoral office without inwardly agreeing. Mm -hmm. And that's where you get into trouble. And that's why God had me to announce it because for, for four years I had been inwardly disagreeing, although I was fulfilling the role of the pastor. Mm. And, um, then when I got up and announced it, it was my agreement and obedience to God inwardly. The word says, if you'll be willing and obedient. See, I was obedient. I was fulfilling the task, but I wasn't willing inside. Willingness deals with your heart. Mm -hmm. And you can't just be obedient and be blessed. You have to be willing and obedient. Your outsides have to agree. And then you carrying it out in function has to be there. Mm -hmm. It wasn't enough that I was functioning as a pastor. I had to be willing to be the pastor. I had to agree to what I was called to. 